Hey guys, welcome back to What's Cooking in Your Neighborhood. Today, um, we are doing something a little different. Oh, please. We are doing a dessert today, our first dessert. So I'm pretty excited about that. Um, we're gonna do my version of a peanut butter whipped trifle cake. So this dessert only has a couple ingredients. It's really easy to make. It's a no-bake dessert, which is nice. So let me grab our stuff here. Rest of our stuff over here. Okay. So all you need for today is you need two packets of instant chocolate pudding. You need four cups of milk for the pudding. Ooh, that's heavy. You need a lot of frozen whipped topping and a bunch of little mini peanut butter cups. And cut them up, cut them up four ways so they're in little tiny chunks. And then you need pound cake. Now I got a whole pound cake, but I this is five slices cut up into cubes. So um, just do little chunks, all right? And then you're gonna need a glass bowl. So let's start with the pudding first. All right. So we have our two packets of chocolate pudding here. Let's pour our four cups of milk in here, okay? And as we're doing that, we're gonna whisk. Whisk our pudding as our bowl is sliding everywhere here. So this is gonna be your liquid, liquidy part in this. Um, your base is gonna be the pound cake. That's what's gonna hold everything together. Okay, this is a nice chocolatey dessert. Um, and the thing about this is, is a lot of people actually add peanut butter syrup to this. You don't have to, I'm not going to, just because that is a little too sweet for me, but you can go ahead and do that. All right, we're gonna pick up the speed here a little bit. And this dessert at the most takes 10 minutes. Um, so it's fast, and what you'll do when you're finished with this is you'll refrigerate it for at least a half an hour for everything to kind of settle in and cool together, and then you can eat it. It'll give it time for the chocolate pudding to thicken up too. So you just want to do this a little bit at a time, not too much at a time because then your pudding is going to take a lot longer to thicken up together. Get the sides here, get all the chunky pieces. Ooh. Okay. Stir a little bit more and then we should be ready. How was your weekend, guys? Mine was pretty good, I just went grocery shopping did some errands, hung out with my kids, and then thought of this yummy dessert to make with you guys, which I hope you guys will love, and I think your, kid, your kids will love it too. And honestly, if you don't have peanut butter lovers in the house, you don't have to use the little peanut butter cups. You can use Hershey Kisses. Um, Hershey Kisses are filled with caramel. Um, the regular ones, they do have all different candies that you can just cut up and bunch in here. So, this is just a fast, easy, cheap dessert to bring to a party or even just have on a holiday, really. All right, so our pudding is whisked together and it's starting to thicken, but just get the sides there. Okay, let's let that sit for a couple minutes. Now, we are going to go ahead and start making this. So I just have a little glass bowl. That's fine. We're going to start with the pound cake. So like I said, that's going to be our base. So we are going to go ahead and start clumping our chunks. All right. So make sure you fill the bottom of your bowl with your pound cake. Okay. That way when you take your bite, you have that nice fluffy bottom layer. That'll be nice. All right, so that's that. And then you are going to go ahead and add the pudding. All right. 
Let me get a spoon for this, guys, because if I don't, I'm going to make a nice big mess, which I don't want to do. All right. Here we go, guys. Look at this. Look. Yes. Guys, just looking at this, I think I gained five pounds. But you know what? It's fine. All right? It's absolutely fine because sweets are good for the heart. You know? Whoever tells you any different is wrong. All right, smear that around there. Okay. And then we're going to take our whip topping. Make sure it's cold. Very cold because if it's not, it's just going to settle through and it's going to run down. So this is still, um, this is thick and it's a little bit icy, which is perfect. Because then it's really going to make that whipped cream layer nice. And this is going to look pretty too. On the outside of the bowl, you'll see the colorful layers. It'll be nice. And what you're going to do is pretty much you're just going to layer this just like lasagna. But this is a dessert lasagna. Okay, so there we go. We have that. All right. Now, we're going to take our little peanut butter cups and we're going to put our peanut butter cups in here. For our first complete layer, just sprinkle them around. Make sure that they don't chunk up on top of each other. All right, don't completely cover the layer because it'll be too sweet. You'll have too much going on because you're going to have other layers on here too. So, oh, yum. Excellent. Okay, so let's go back and repeat. Pound cake. Let's do some more. Let's make sure to cover with the pound cake. All right, perfect. All right, back to the chocolate pudding. Hold this up so you guys can see. Okay, just kind of like ladle it on, just to cover so that you don't see anything poking through that second layer. And you can use a bigger bowl, you can do layers and layers and layers, but I just wanted to do a small glass bowl. Okay, now back for the whipped topping. All right, and some more. And a little bit more, why not, right? Perfect, and now you kind of just want to like smear it around so it covers. Okay. Awesome. All right. And back to our Reese's. All right. So this has filled up my bowl. So this is going to be my last layer. So I'm going to go ahead and go heavy on the peanut butter cups on top. And since this is the top of the bowl, I'm also going to put more pound cake. So it's going to be the pound cake and the peanut butter cups up top. All right, there's our peanut butter cups. Now let's go ahead and grab our pound cake. Okay. And we'll do a couple more pieces. All right, a couple more peanut butter cups. All right. And guys, the cool thing about this is when you're eating this, get messy. It's fine. Just scoop it out. Use a big ladle. Scoop it out into a bowl for the kids and the family. And enjoy. All right. And that's as high as we're going to go with ours. Because I don't think we have any more room in this bowl, even if we try. So let me bring this one over to you guys and show you how yummy this looks. Okay. So here's the top, guys. Look. Hold on. Look. Yum. And look at the layers. Look. Yum. Looks so good. Yum, yum, yum. Look at that. 
beautiful. And that took what, 10 minutes? I mean, this is a very fast, easy dessert for sure. So let me go ahead and put that down and I'll stick that in the fridge in a minute. So you wanna, like I said, just go ahead and pop it in the fridge for at least 20 to 30 minutes just to let the pudding and everything thicken up and cool down for you. So that was our peanut butter trifle today for you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it and make sure to hit that like button and subscribe and look out for the next video. We plan on doing more desserts for you guys. So make sure you make this, it's yummy. See you later guys.